Hey everybody, welcome back to the Rebel Chomps channel. Today I'm gonna talk a bit about the coronavirus, that awful virus that is affecting the world and in particular China where a lot of cool stuff are being made for saber companies including Alta Sabers. Um, Alta Sabers is having a massive loss at the moment because they can't keep up demand of orders that are being made on their website. They basically have um, may over, make a huge overcommitment of products they don't actually have in stock or in hand to a lot of customers that bought their products. They're waiting for a long, long time on their beautiful lightsabers from Alta Sabers, but they have to wait a lot longer. And it might even become a big issue for Alta Sabers because of that coronavirus. There's a really limited um, production of these factories producing all these individual parts and providing that to Alta Sabers and many other saber companies for that matter. And um, so there's a really constrained income of individual parts and you have to think about batteries, wires, LED units, um, the, the, the little lenses that can come over the uh, LED units, all these little parts, individual parts like I know 20 30 40 different individual parts that are making up a lightsaber are being made in china and because of that constraint uh in production auto sabers is having a severe suffering in their production now there's some good news Beside that news from Alter Sabers, um, if you're in the market of buying a lightsaber now, um, you might consider a company that makes, for example, lightsabers domestically. One of those companies making lightsabers domestically is Fader's Fault. They made this particular hilt in the US. The soundboard is from uh, a maker in French. I believe the soundboards are still made in China. But I believe Plectolabs has a big um, supply of them. The LED units, uh, 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 the NeoPixel setup, etc. Yes, come from China. But uh, luckily, Vaderfold has a big uh, source of um, available parts. So they can still uh, deliver lightsabers within their uh, set lead times that they have. Uh, so that's a good news there. And there's other companies out there as well that started to domestically make their own individual parts. For example, Saber Trio just started to making their own Delrin chassis uh, locally in Malaysia. Unfortunately, that will have an increase, increment in pricing. Um, so yeah, there will be a trade-off there, but um, there will be still production for lightsabers on the market. So. I think it's gonna be uh, played out very interesting and you're gonna really see um, why these cheaper lightsaber offerings are so cheap and what are the repercussions for that on the long run because Alta Sabers is completely reliant on the cheap labor from China uh, to have these really cheap products being sold in America for a relatively a high markup if you ask me for what you get but yeah that is just the case and i feel really bad for everybody that's currently waiting on their ultra savers lightsabers because you're so eager to get your lightsabers in your hands and what normally took a week or two weeks as a turnaround is now changed into a couple of months with no direct forecast when the products are fully in stock again and what I actually would like to see from Alta Sabers and Saber Force is a complete stop on the website, like Saber Trio. Halt, stop, we're not selling anymore to you. But no, they keep taking your money, keep taking your money, taking your money, and just saying the standard like standard tax, oh, it's gonna take a few weeks, you're gonna have your order, and then it becomes a, a, a long delay, and another delay, another delay. It's uh, not the, the, the most, um, a trustworthy or uh, a proper way to do business. So I like what Saber Trio does to say, hey, we're gonna stop for now. We are massively affected by the restraint in production from China because of the coronavirus. And that's why we rather just put a halt on it till we are up to snug again. And we don't wanna have customers waiting for months and months and months on their paid product like Alta Sabers and Saber Force do and still take any money that comes in and just 
pretend their nose is bleeding and like, oh, uh, I didn't know, uh, oh, thank you for your money, thank you for your order, oh, there's a delay of six months or whatever, um, three months, six months, yeah, sorry, coronavirus, oh, can't do anything about it, but thanks for your money. Uh, not very nice from those guys, I think they get, should get a smack on their hands from, I don't know, whatever instance they have in America and say, hey, uh, you can't treat your customers like that. But uh, the bottom line is it's also a little bit out of the hands of Ultra Saber Saberforce, of course. So for existing uh, customers that already have a lightsaber in hand, it's a really unfortunate situation, but we just have to grit to that whole uh, situation. Uh, of course, we're talking about human lives here. So yeah, although we really want to have our lightsabers, etc., you also have to think about the families and the people behind them uh, making them in China uh, that we have to keep a bit of respect for these people where we can that they actually have to you know take care of the health and and families and whatnot and it's just um, a very serious matter so yes these really cool uh, physical trinkets um, these luxury items are fantastic for us Westerners and uh, but we, at the same time actual people in China making all the eventual parts so we have to no, be a bit more understandable for them and um, yeah unfortunately it has to be grit too but I do hope Ultra Sabers and Saber Force gonna say gonna put a halt on it guys we're not gonna take any more money from you guys we first gonna fulfill all these orders and then when everything is up and smooth and running again yes we can take orders in again because that will be fair to all the customers because um, yeah we know the situation well, we oversee the production of our products. We know exactly what the lead times are, what the constraints are. This is the action steps we're gonna take. And um, that is a little bit of what I want to bring in this video. So if you are about to order something from Alter Sabers or Saberforce, I would say just pocket that money, stay vigilant for another couple of weeks or months and then place your order if you still really want that product from them. Um, because you're gonna basically give them a bunch of money and they're gonna sit on it and sit on it and sit on it and you're gonna sit and wait and not get anything till they sort out uh, how they wanna continue their business because of the constraints in China. So that is my little video. If you have any more questions about it, let me know in the comment section. I would love to have a debate with you guys about that. Thank you for watching and if you're looking for a lightsaber that is on the market right now, there's still offering some different saber companies out there that are making stuff locally <coughs> and not are fully dependent on what China makes because they have to bottom dollar sell it. So let me know in the comments what you think about it. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.